Hello my friends of Genshin Impact, my name is Tildrell and we are talking about the Kazua rerun and the Klee rerun banner in this video. I'm sorry for speaking a little bit quieter than usual, but I have a little Shiba Inu puppy behind me and I don't want to scare him. Yeah, because he's sleeping. If you want to summon on either of those two banners, I strongly advise you to summon for Kazua, okay? No matter if you just want to have a 5 star because you started this game recently or you aim for one of those 4 star characters right here, okay? Especially Heizu because he has so much potential. He will be such a good character. Klee is a noob trap, okay? She gets outclassed by so many characters as of now, okay, Hu Tao is better than her, Yoimiya is better than her, pretty much almost every single Pyro character is better than Klee. The only people that summon for Klee are content creators that want to do clickbait thumbnails, okay? This is the only reason for using Klee. Let's take a look right here. The only reason to summon for Klee is to get her to Constellation 2, where his E skill decreases your opponent's defense by 23%. Doesn't sound like much, but this is the reason why so many content creators on YouTube and anywhere else have those crazy damage numbers on those thumbnails. <laughs> Okay, and this is the only reason why you would need her, okay? She, please, just don't summon for Klee, except you find her cute. Yeah, I mean, whatever floats your boat, why ever you play Genshin Impact. Some people want to collect Aspendos, some people want to collect waifus, some people want to collect little children because they're cute. But from an efficiency standpoint, okay, just summon for the Wind Boy. I didn't change my opinion of him. He is a strong character. But when you have Venti already in combination with Sucrose, you don't need Kazuya, okay? Let me emphasize that. I know he has that much hype built up and people say he's like the best character in the game and that, but after all, he is just an animal damage support and damage buffer. A little bit better than Sucrose in the buffing aspect, but Sucrose has better crowd control. So you can choose for yourself. Kazuo's damage amplifiers are easier to play around with because he boosts your flat elemental damage output. Every element you swirl with Kazuo gets a damage boost. Pretty easy to use. Sucrose right here boosts the reactions damage which means that in, let's say, a reaction-focused elemental damage team, where you uh, trigger many melt reactions or vaporize or overload, the damage bonus of Sucrose and Kazuha like evens out, okay? But in freeze comps or comps where you don't uh, play around with that many damage reactions, Kazuha is better, especially in freeze comps, of course. I personally am a bigger fan of reliable crowd control and 
yeah sucrose's e and burst offer very high crowd control capabilities which is why i'm i'm totally happy with her and venti if i didn't have venti okay if i didn't have venti i think i would summon for kazua and i would try to get him but as of now and with my account being what it is i think i will do some temples to maybe get heizu or even some copies of heizu for more constellations but i won't go over a pity of 60. but hey even with um, Sumeru on the horizon, with all those characters that got leaked, with everything that changes, you can't go wrong with Kazuo. I just tell you that it's enough to have Venti and Sucrose. If you want to have Kazuo and Sucrose, why not? So to recap it for you once more, stay away from Klee. Just, just ignore this banner. You can summon for Wind Boy if you want, but if you have uh, sucrose and venti already just just skip him really just skip him you can clear the abyss without him no matter what all those guides say on the internet i mean look at look at my abyss state right now already at 36 stars and i clear the abyss with 36 stars since the beginning of the game guys okay and i don't have kazuha and i don't plan on summoning for him if i'm getting him on accident i won't be mad i won't be building him for a very long time if i get him but hey you need to make do with what you can get i'd say anyway i hope that i could help you in your future summoning decisions and that we see each other in my other videos as well bye